How about uh, Sunday, we have a major Sephora fix, maybe a movie, sort of a see you day before you go bye-bye? Throw in a pedicure and you got a deal. Done. Hey, coffee's gonna be ready in a sec. You know what you want? <laughs> oh, um, well, we need napkins to cover this big, wide, expansive table. Okay, uh, hey, you in the mood for pancakes? Pancakes, sure, yeah, I guess we have enough space for pancakes. Because I'm making pumpkin pancakes, and it comes with homemade cinnamon butter. You made cinnamon butter. This morning. Wow. I bet the other people would love a table right now, but can't have one because they're all taken with love pumpkin pancakes with homemade cinnamon butter. I'll get you coffee. Hey, hold on. What? We're sitting at two tables. Yeah? You hate that. That makes you mad. Only the one time. Why are you so sunny this morning? Well, actually, I finally hired some help. Oh, good for you. Yeah, I figured I needed the help. What the hell? I got a kid in here to pick up the slack, you know? I kind of feel like a weight's been lifted, you know? That sounds very sensible. <laughs> Let me get your food going. Raw toast. Told you. You wanted uh, something, right? Uh, excuse me just a second, won't you? Sure. Thanks. Luke. What are you doing here? Uh, we're going to the Harvard-Yale game. You're going to the Harvard-Yale game? You know what they do at the Harvard-Yale game? They make babies? They play football. Yes, I know they play football. And you're supposed to watch them play football. Let's not talk about me anymore. Let's talk about you. I'm worried. Why? Ever since you hired that Brennan, the little spark has gone out of your eyes. It has. Yes, it has. And I am here to tell you that it is hell watching you go through this. So I think for your own sake, you should fire Froggy. Froggy? Uh, Brennan. You want me to fire Brennan? Why? The spark. Remember the spark? Why do you want me to fire Brennan? Come back, little spark. Come back. Lorelei. He doesn't write the orders down. He never brings you food that's hot or yours. He can't distinguish bagels from donuts. He hands out butt napkins. And he has worn that foreigner t-shirt every single day since he started working here. And he doesn't know who they are. I asked him. What are butt napkins? Kirk needed a napkin, and he pulled one out of his back pocket. Hey, Bren. Yeah, boss. Did you give Kirk a napkin out of your back pocket? Yeah. Don't. OK. That's it. What about all the other stuff? Look, you're just used to me. Give him time. Have you heard about the frog, the hands, and the sandwich? No, but I heard about the rabbi, the priest, and the duck. You're not taking me seriously. Hey, Bren, get Ms. Gilmore a cup of hot coffee, will you? Just give the kid a chance, all right? He's helping me out a great deal. Decaf. And I have faith in him. All he needs is a little more time. Black top. To learn the ropes and he'll be fine. Where did he go? I don't, I don't know. <laughs>